Hey, in today's uh, video, we're going to do a review and build of Bandai's uh, Mecha Collection. This is the 2202 series, kit number one from that series. This is the Andromeda. Now, I previously did a build of a 1-1000 scale Andromeda, as you see here. It recently got third place at the Atlanta IPMS show, uh, so that was very exciting. Uh, anyway. Uh, this kit right here is the 1-1000, but it runs about $120 or so, depending on where you get it. It does come with lights and sounds and stuff like that nature, and a lot of different options. But that's a lot of money to put on a model kit. So this is the uh, same ship, uh, but much smaller. I'm not sure of the scale. I'm guessing it's probably somewhere around 1-3000th scale, if this is 1-1000. Maybe, maybe, maybe a little um, larger than that. I'm not sure. So uh, let's take a quick look at it. As always, you come in, looks like we have some instructions, we have some decals, so we have to take a quick look here at what we got. First we have our little display stand, and looks like our ship's going to be, yeah, it's going to be probably around a third the length of it. Uh, we have our guns, the main body, the different parts, looks like we have of course, the, uh, some nice decals, not stickers, but decals, looks like. And we have some white ones and some black ones. So we have that. Anyway, uh, so here's the kit. And what we're going to do is we're going to do uh, put it together, and then we're going to paint it and see how close we can make it to look like uh, our 1-1000 scale. So let's get started. So here we are. We've got it mostly assembled here. I have intentionally left off some parts here. Uh, two of the forward guns, the vent section that goes up front here, and another part that goes with that vent section. Uh, as you can see, uh, the forward guns uh, have a part of it that are white, so we'll need to paint that. And the front of the ship's white, and that vent section underneath is also white. So, as you can see on my big one, how uh, there's also a brown deck uh, section underneath the forward gun. So to just make painting easier, we're going to leave that off for now. We're going to go ahead and start priming it, and then we'll do our top coat on it, and then we'll come back and do, hopefully, and get this in a brown color and do the deck, deck section in a brown, and then we'll also prime these and do a base coat or, or do the top coat and then uh, paint in the white that needs to go on the white. So that's the plan, and let's get, get to priming. Okay guys, so we've primed it up and we've given it about 24 hours to cure and get all our, 
hardened up. And now we're going to paint it. Uh, we're going to paint the uh, main body here and then of course the parts that I left off. And uh, so let's get started. Uh, this is going to be a mixture of uh, some light grays mixed in with uh, a bluish gray. And um, this is what I painted the big ship with, my 1-1000 scale. This is uh, to me is Ocean Gray 2 XF82, but I'm out of this. Um, so I just kind of stir it up, uh, approximately uh, two parts gray to one part blue, just approximately. And kind of give us a similar tone. And uh, let's just get started here. Okay, so here we are. Uh, just to let you know, I did go back and repaint it. Uh, as the paint dried up, it was just coming up a little too blue, so I redid the paint with uh, more gray and just a few drops of the blue gray, and I, I got the, cut, the color much more accurate to what I was looking for. Uh, and then I let that dry, and I put on a clear, a gloss clear coat, and gave that time to dry. And now what I've done is I've added in some of this. Uh, to me a panel line accent color. Uh, pretty much trying to get all the panel lines in here and I'm going in and I'm just starting to clean it up with a Q-tip. As you can see it's uh, pretty heavy on here. It's kind of gotten everywhere and we just start working with it and I use uh, some of the uh, testers enamel thinner. Uh, just a little bit of that will also help if it's drying up on there. That'll help to get some of the uh, paint off on there. And we can see where it starts to remove and I'm actually taking off too much, but I can go back and reapply some of that enamel thinner. Uh, so you want to give it time to dry, and then just come back and start cleaning it up off the panels you don't want on. As you can see, I'm probably taking off too much. I didn't get it enough time to dry. So I'm going to go be work, working on that, as you can see on this side. Now, once we get all that, we still have to paint the deck uh, brown. We still have to paint some of the engine with the, uh, I'm going to do a uh, gunmetal on the engine nozzles. And once we get all that, we'll put on a, a dull coat to tone it all down. Alright guys, so here we are. We're all finished up with our Andromeda. And here it is against the 1-1000 scale Andromeda. I, couldn't re I tried to research, couldn't find out what scale this is. The ship itself is about 5.5 inches long. This one is about 19 inches long. So it's somewhere in the 1-3000s range, I guess. Uh, as you can see, I tried to emulate the paint job I did on the Andromeda, which is very close to what the box art is also on the ship. I'm trying to get in the colors pretty accurate. Uh, probably could spend a little bit more time working on the gun painting, uh, but overall I'm pretty happy with it. It does come with uh, stickers uh, instead of decals. I, I rather they had sent decals. Because uh, it's hard to get these to blend in, you can make out the outline of the sticker. And I put a clear coat over this, uh, but I just don't think that stickers stickers still going to be visible. And so there's not much I can do about that. So anyway, uh, if you're looking to get in drama a kit, but you don't want to spend 120 dollars, you can spend 12 dollars and get this. Of course, this one has lights and sounds, and it's much bigger. Uh, but the actual detail is very similar. There's if you put them side by side, it's Pretty much every line in, on this one, or on this one, is also on this one. Uh, I may do a little bit more weathering on this one, uh, just adding in a few colors like I have on this one. Uh, but overall, it's a nice looking little model. So if you're into Mark for Andromeda, that's definitely an option to go. Uh, you don't have to paint it. You can, it does come in a color similar to what I painted. I did paint it. Obviously, I had to repaint it because I didn't hit the color right the first time. But I think it really uh, matched it up pretty well that second time around. Anyway guys, thanks for viewing. Um, please uh, subscribe to my channel if you like my videos. And until next time, we'll catch you later.